Stage one is at startup pressures. T minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mission lift off. As you just saw, Falcon 9 has successfully cleared the pad and is now on its ascent with the test spacecraft in its fairing. Now coming up here shortly, you're going to hear three big events happening in rapid succession. The first is MECO, that stands for Main Engine Cutoff, that is where all nine of the first stage engines are going to shut down. That's in preparation for the next step, which is stage sep or stage separation. There's where stage one will separate from stage two. Stage one will make its way back down to the drone ship. Stage two will continue on with tests to its orbit. And then you're going to hear second engine start. That is the ignition of the second stage engine. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one is out of its foot. All right, and as you just saw, we had a successful stage separation and a successful ignition of that second stage engine. Stage one is transonic. Right. And as you heard, stage one is transonic. We're about 10 seconds away from that landing, landing burn. Note that the drone ship is situated approximately 300 kilometers off the coast of Florida. And as you can see, that landing burn started. Let's see if we can catch it. the 24th successful landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. We'll be getting acquisition of signal as we pass over a ground station here shortly. And ideally, we'll be able to see this signal, live on the screen. And there we go. In just under a minute here, we'll be seeing the spacecraft separate from Falcon 9. That beautiful image of the Earth behind us there. It's one of the planets Tess is going to look at in its lifetime. And as you can see there, we have had successful separation of the Tess spacecraft. And it's going on on its beautiful mission to look at thousands of planets outside of our solar system.